Number one question that comes up all day, every day on my videos is what kind of camera gear do I use? I have a link in the description, but why not make a video and show off all the little bits and pieces and kind of talk about everything that I use. How about we start off with this cool Cam Kicks case here. It's basically a create your own case. It has these foam inserts that you can pluck out one by one and basically make your own holes for all your gear. So this has been very useful when I'm traveling. I can kind of keep all my, my essential gear together in one simple case. So of course I've got two Hero 4 Blacks. These are my main workhorse cameras. I use mic over stick overs to act as a wind muffler for the thing on top here. My primary gimbal of choice, the Evo SS. And my backup gimbal, the Ryder M by Zyun Tech, basically the same exact thing. I've got a whole separate video comparing the gimbals that I've used and going on and on about that, so we're not gonna start that talk today. This is my Hero 5 Black, it's my backup camera, in case of emergency camera. I used it on my Q&A footage recently, but uh, the audio that comes out of this thing is not that great when you put it on the gimbal, so I have no desire to sacrifice any audio quality. And I've also got a little slot for my SD cards. The more memory you've got, the better. That case will also hold my extra mic over stick overs, the little wind muffler things, plenty of little rags to wipe off the lens, and my 250 gigabyte solid state backup hard drive. And I've got a bunch of GoPro mounts that I really don't use that often, but they're good to have. This little gorilla pod is one of my favorite tools. I put my iPhone inside of it, which I can't show right now because I'm recording this video on my iPhone. You lay this down on a trail, you ride by it, and it gives you some awesome third person footage. This is my main chesty. This is my backup. This one has a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on it. They're, they're the same, just gotta have two of everything just in case. This is a great little tool. It's actually called The Tool by GoPro, and it helps cinch down the mount as tight as you possibly can get it so the camera doesn't start to flop forward on really big descents. This is my 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's an older model, but it's still kicking ass. It, it does all my video editing. I use Final Cut Pro when I edit my videos, and I use that Samsung 500 gigabyte solid state hard drive to directly edit from the hard drive, and it runs nice and smooth. This is my Rode VideoMic Me, which I'm using to record this right now. I'm, I'm overlaying a different shot of me holding the, the microphone, so I'm actually just doing these voiceovers live on the go. You've got to be careful with this thing. Put your phone into airplane mode first. I was getting all kinds of problems with static and I could not understand why. And then I realized it needs to be in airplane mode or you're going to get some static. This is what it sounds like without the microphone. And of course I've got batteries for days, gimbal batteries, GoPro Hero 4 black batteries. The Hero 5 actually uses a different battery so I should probably buy a couple extras. Keeping with the theme of power, I've got these two anchor USB power sticks, whatever you would call them, that I can plug in anything I need to that has USB, charge it up. I can charge my phone, I can charge it by GoPro batteries, I can charge the gimbal batteries. Very useful. And I've also got this little one by Pocket Juice as well. These are just various chargers, GoPro charger, gimbal battery charger, GoPro battery charger, USB splitter various cables of course and this really awesome power strip which has USB plugs on the bottom and also ha comes with a bunch of international plug adapters so when I was in New Zealand this thing came with me this thing comes with me everywhere I go I guess I can't skip over this gimbal as well I don't use this one as much anymore this is the iPhone gimbal really makes some great steady smooth shots it takes the same batteries as the Evo SS it just hasn't found its way into the rotation as much when I can kind of use the GoPro on the gimbal to get the same kind of shots. And this is the suction cup mount. I just used this when I was driving home from LA and I could have the GoPro mounted to the windshield, not have to worry about it at all, just let it run. This is just a hard shell case that came with the old Feutech gimbal. I use this to carry a bunch of stuff while I'm on the road. And this is the soft case that came with the Zyun Rider M that I use to carry a bunch of stuff while I'm on the road. This is the stuntman chest mount, and you can see it has a lot bigger 
plastic piece for the chest and I'm really excited to use this and break it in and give it a try. And this is the Remove US1, which is a rainproof gimbal and I'm really interested to test it out and see how it goes. You know, I have such a good system going that is so reliable and bulletproof and battle tested and I'm going so hard, I'm traveling all the time that I don't have many downtime days. So fitting a new piece of equipment into my routine giving it a couple of tests because you know anything could go good on one test but what about five tests and ten tests later when the thing breaks down so it's 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 a dicey situation to bring in new stuff it's like bringing a new member into the club so I'm gonna slowly test these things out try the stuntman mount try the remote view gimbal and uh, hopefully they'll prove their worth I don't actually keep all this stuff in my hydration pack when I'm out for a ride. I usually only bring along extra batteries for the gimbal, extra batteries for the GoPro, and then my Gorillapod for my iPhone. That seems like everything. I'm probably forgetting something. Let me know in the comments if I am. Otherwise, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.